it is again. It keeps waving back and forth, just as last time. Can you get a bearing? It's like an eel. It keeps fluctuating 15 to 20 degrees. My guess is 270, more or less. Maybe we'll get a better reading when we get closer. I still say it doesn't sound right. Certainly not like anything I've ever picked up before. I'm picking up a visual image that could be it. It's unsteady, just like that audio signal of yours, lass. 270 degrees is the best I can do. Okay, you two. 270 it is. Changing attitude. These eerie signals have been puzzling scientists and confusing space communications for some time. Now, finally, the chief has decided to have Scott and his friends investigate the mysterious source of these signals in person. That thing acts like my old friend Captain O'Hara when he's had one too many. Well, after all, the reason we're here is that no one's been able to figure out those queer signals. Won't be long now. I leave it to the chief to pick on us every time he's got something he can't figure out. I'm glad he does. Makes the job more interesting. Do you think anybody lives there? Obviously, somebody's sending those crazy signals. I've been sending requests for transmission on one of our frequencies, but no results. Keep trying, Chris. There. I get a needle fluctuation. I'll try and tune in on that. Nope. Still nothing. Maybe it's siesta time down there. I don't like the looks of this place. Let's go home. Now what have I got? Sounds like Count Dracula and all his relatives. Shh. Let's listen a moment. Ooh, gives me the creeps. Let's go down and take a look. This place not only sounds spooky, it looks spooky. I can't even see the ground through these weird, misty clouds. Well, take it slow, Skipper. We need solid ground to set this baby down. Yes, please, no crash landing. I hate to be stuck here. Taurus, check the stern viewer. I can't see a thing down there. Nothing, Skipper. Nothing but heavy mist and weird forms. Is this a haunted planet? Tune in again next time for another mystifying episode with Scott McCloud, Space Angel. Last time, the Chief sent Scott, Crystal, and Taurus on a journey to explore the origin of some strange radio signals from space. As they arrived at their destination, mysterious sounds seemed to come from ghostly shapes. We 
seem to be settling down in the valley. I can see mountains around us. Well, it could be a swamp. That might account for the mist. I don't think so, Chris. Indicator shows solid ground. Skipper, are you sure there's solid ground here somewhere? We're still going down. I only hope we don't damage the Starduster on those rocks. This place smells dead. Taurus, you and I'll take a look. Chris, you better stay at the Starduster. Not again. I want to go, too. Sorry, Chris. Didn't you tell me you needed time to work out your expense account? I see. I don't know, but I have a feeling we're being watched. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? Beats me. What was it anyway? $6.71. Now, uh, let's see. That comes to $29.88. $29.89? Who's there? Oh, dear. What's going on here? How did you get in? <laughs> I snuck in when you had the door open. But who are you? Or rather, what are you? I don't know. This is a comfortable chair. What do you mean you don't know? Nobody tells me anything. What's this button? Don't touch that. You mean like this? Oh, no. completely daft. What could have happened? Woo-wee! You little monster. Now look what you've done. Starduster spinning into space. Can Crystal Kane control and land the ship by herself? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angel. Last time, while Scott and Taurus went to explore the mysterious planet from which radio signals had been disrupting space communications, Chris was visited by a mischievous ghost who pressed the wrong button, causing the Starduster to blast off and to perform a hair-raising series of acrobatic maneuvers.
Now what's she doing? She must have gone plum loco. But she's blown the Stardester before. I don't understand. Here she comes. Duck! Skipper, Crystal has got to be in some kind of trouble. I wish there was some way we could help. There they are. You. Oh, what you doing, Humphrey? Humphrey? Who's Humphrey? You know perfectly well who Humphrey is. You stole him in that floating stovepipe of yours. What on earth? Before you accuse us of something we didn't do, would you mind telling us who you are? I'm the boss around here. How do you do? I'm Scott McLeod. What you doing, Humphrey? We want Humphrey! We want Humphrey! All right. Yeah. So your name is Humphrey. Mine is Crystal. Shouldn't you be home in bed? Ah, you got television! This is the chief. Who wants me? Oh, no. I said, who wants me? Who's calling? Me, Humphrey. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... Humphrey who? What is it, some kind of a gag? You're not very funny. I don't like this show. I think I need glasses. Central Control. Yes, Chief. What's the word from Scott? What in heaven's name is going on out there? But, sir, you just talked to the Starduster. I did no such thing. I got some kind of a jumbled voice. Made no sense at all. Chief, that signal came from the Starduster. We've been trying to reestablish contact. But all we get are those same eerie signals that Scott went out there to explore in the first place. Now, Humphrey, be a good little ghost. Or whatever you are. And let me take over. Crystal will have to land the Starduster by herself and return Humphrey to his people in time to save Scott and Doris. Can she do it? Don't miss the next exciting episode with Space Angel. Last time, Humphrey, the delinquent ghost, was playing with the Starduster controls, causing the ship to do impossible acrobatics. While Crystal was trying to gain control of the ship, Scott and Taurus were confronted by a huge ghost. Deep in a cave, a mock trial was being held. You think maybe we better try to find Humphrey? Where's Humphrey? Where's Humphrey? How would you suggest we go about it? Beats me, Skipper. We want Humphrey. We want Humphrey. The charge is kidnapping. 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 
Skipper, I think they want us to get Humphrey back. If we promise to help you find this, this Humphrey, will you go and leave us alone? All right, you find Humphrey and we'll leave you alone. You'll find Humphrey and we'll leave you alone. Taurus, I bet he crept into the Starduster with Crystal. You'll find Humphrey and we'll leave you alone. Humphrey and we'll leave you alone. never landed the Starduster manually before. Now, where did he go? You looking for me? <laughs> what are you doing up there? I'm pretending I'm Phil. Well, stop it. And help me get this ship down. Can Crystal get Humphrey back in time to save Scott and Taurus? Don't miss the next exciting episode of Space Angels! Last time, while Crystal tried to stop the little ghost Humphrey from fooling around with the controls of the Starduster, the other ghosts accused Scott and Taurus of kidnapping Humphrey, while the Chief contemplated sending the Space Force after Scott and his friends. And now I'm pretending I'm an image. You come here. <laughs> okay, miss. Whatever you say. Now you sit right down there and watch that needle. Uh, yes, sir. You mean this one? Right. When it swings to one side or the other, call out. Roger! Okay. Here we go. Yippee! The needle's moving! Okay, that's good. Now it's all the way down. You're a good co-pilot, Humphrey. Hang on, we're about to land. Um, yes, sir.
few minutes, we'll have Humphrey back for you. I hope you're right, Skipper. So do I. You better be right. And just in the nick of time. Welcome, Lassie. Beautiful landing. Chris, what happened? Did you see um, uh, a ghost named Humphrey? Back, our boy, Humphrey. I sure did. He helped me fly the Starduster. Hi there, Grandpa. I've been flying a spaceship. Oh, wait till I get you home. Now, gentlemen, we're going to have to do something about your broadcast frequencies. They're jamming space communications with those weird sounds which can be heard everywhere. But, sir, that's our intention. Ever since we learned that you people don't believe in ghosts, we had to try and prove that we really exist. Well, I guess you've made your point. And I'll be glad to tell everyone about Humphrey. Hooray! I'll be famous! Yes, gentlemen. If we promise to spread the word, will you agree to stop that giant shortwave transmitter of yours? All right, it's a deal. But we'll keep checking, and if people stop believing in us, we'll have to start broadcasting again. That's a deal. Now, my, my friends and I better get back and, and spread the good word about you. safer with you in that seat instead of that wild Humphrey. I think you did fine, lass. Just fine. What are we going to tell the chief? You mean like there are ghosts on this planet and one of them named Humphrey nearly got away with swiping the Starduster? He'll never believe a word of it. He better, or they'll start broadcasting again. I want to be there when you tell him, Scott. <laughs> I want to see his face. Scott, this is the chief. Where have you been? What's going on out there? And I don't want any crazy stories. Tune in again next time for another exciting adventure with Scott McCloud, Space Angel. Cargo.